essence of Islamic fashion lies in the fact that it can embody all that is required in Islam and yet still remain fashionable, contemporary and stylish. Malaysia as a model Islamic nation is setting the standard for contemporary Islamic fashion, hence making the region a key fashion center for Islamic apparel. I appreciate that our modern designer, they can do very well in this batik industry. So I welcome and I hope that we can do, we can be, be the best in the world. Fashion dia memang sesuai untuk pakaian Muslim kan, Muslimah. Walaupun bertutup, tetapi dia very fashionable. Hi there, you're watching Malaysian Fashion and Designers with me, Dinas Mokta. Okay, when we talk about fashion, we can play with so many things. With um, textile, fabrics and um, so many kind of designs that you can come up with. As you can see, today I'm wearing um, tudung ala-ala muslimah. So we're going to be talking about muslimah fashion industry in our country. So let me introduce to you um, a designer from Jarumas, Puan Noraini. Jarumas Concepts is one of the famous sought-after designer brands that specializes in Islamic apparel, which has brought Malaysian Islamic fashion to a higher level. Puan Noraini Sharif, the founder of Jarumas Concepts, has been nurturing her love for fashion since the tender age of six. Her zeal for fashion design caused her to study fashion and design at the Mara University of Technology. Sebenarnya saya meminati fashion sejak saya kecil lagi. Setelah habis uh, zaman persekolahan, saya uh, telah membuat keputusan untuk melanjutkan pelajaran saya ke, UI, ke ITM pada masa itu. Jadi, saya telah memilih bidang fashion, bidang seni reka fashion. Jaro Mas, which literally means golden needle, reflects Noraini's absolute confidence in her ability to revolutionize the Islamic dressing of Malaysian society into an exciting new era of high fashion and contemporary styling. Yang memberi inspirasi kepada saya untuk um, mengeluarkan uh, fashion-fashion uh, muslimah uh, adalah kerana saya lihat um, lifestyle sekarang ya, uh, di mana uh, ramai yang wanita-wanita Melayu um, minat uh, bertudung ya tapi dalam pada tu mereka juga ingin juga bergaya seperti orang lain jadi dari situlah uh, saya mendapat ilham kenapa tidak ya kita sebagai mereka come out with collection yang lebih menarik ya walaupun pakai muslimah tapi koleksinya adalah koleksi yang lebih orang kata contemporary lebih menarik the main attraction of her creation is the Islamic apparel she produces, particularly the contemporary hand-painted bati, where her forte lies in her clever mix of colors that makes it very eye-catching indeed. Trademark pada koleksi Jarumas adalah pakaian-pakaian uh, muslimah yang mana saya menggunakan bahan-bahan batik untuk dijadikan pakaian. Kadang-kadang saya gunakan um, motif yang abstrak uh, di mana saya banyak uh, menggunakan um, warna ya, uh, apa ni kombinasi warna kepada koleksi itu. Starting off as a humble fashion studio in Jalan Gurney in 1992 and then in Ampang Plaza, Jarumas has expanded their outlet to the main boutique in City Square Centre in Kuala Lumpur. Uh, sebenarnya outlet uh, sebelum saya di sini di uh, City Square, saya sebenarnya bertempat di uh, kompleks uh, Ampang Plaza iaitu uh, pada dulunya dipanggil Yau Chuan. Ya. Tapi kemudian uh, saya berpindah di kawasan ni memandangkan kawasan ni lebih sesuai dengan konsep yang saya bawa. Her undying effort to put her brand name at the highest level has made her very well known, especially at fashion shows such as the KL Jakarta Islamic Fashion Festival, MIFA and more. Saya terlibat uh, di dalam beberapa apa ni, pertunjukan fashion yang pernah diadakan uh, semasa uh, MIFA, eh, semasa Fashion Week uh, di Convention Center dan juga pernah uh, terlibat dengan uh, charity show Recently, she was invited to showcase her collection at the Piala Sri Iman in Kuala Terengganu, which was nothing short of spectacular, with a flamboyant designs and beautiful spectrum of colors. Warna yang saya gunakan uh, pada pertunjukan tadi, saya namakan ialah panca warna, di mana ia bermula dengan warna gelap, iaitu warna hitam putih, kemudian bertukar menjadi warna lembut, uh, yang baknika warna, ya. Dan daripada warna lembut tu ia beralih kepada warna yang lebih terang dan akhirnya menunjukkan warna yang lebih 
meriah. Kalau saya tengok pada perkembangan fashion, khususnya yang berkonsepkan busana muslimah, kita dapat lihat satu peningkatan yang baik, bukan hanya dari aspek reka corak, tetapi juga dari aspek reka bentuk fashion itu sendiri. Ya? Dan uh, kita boleh melihat satu kreativiti yang teramat baik dari, dari aspek penggunaan uh, bahan, penggunaan uh, media yang digunakan, khususnya dalam penggabungan uh, media dan teknik. Tadi. Dan saya percaya bahawa usaha yang dijalankan oleh uh, Jaromah itu satu usaha yang amat baik. With her tenacity and determination to always move forward and never give up, Noraini has received numerous awards, and the best to her was the Diamond Needle Fashion Awards 1994, which she won the second runner-up. Pencapaian yang terbaik yang saya pernah uh, alami ialah ketika saya uh, terlibat ya, masuk bertanding di dalam pertandingan fashion uh, masa itu bersama-sama dengan Razwan Razwil jadi uh, Razwan was the uh, Johan ya, dan saya adalah uh, pemenang ketiga pada ketika itu uh, dan sejak itulah masyarakat mula mengenali saya In her case, I think it's very tastefully done. You know, it, um, I like her her style of doing her designs. Not tacky, and the colours are very nice and subtle. And um, I think she can go very, very far in this area. Being an Islamic apparel designer, designing juba attire is a must and Nuraini is very good at it. Her juba collection is effortlessly beautiful, especially with her clever techniques of playing with the motives of batik in each creation she has made. Let's see the juba collection from Jaroma, so tell me more about this collection. I have some, uh, you know, some bit work over the chest part. Actually, it's meant to cover that part. Yeah, for Muslima, it's you know it's a must. It's not a compulsory. It's a must to cover the chest part. Yeah, uh, and and uh, the, the concentration is on this. This front yes, part. that's the most important. Okay, when you wear tudung, the concentration is supposed to be here, not here. <laughs> okay, that you will not be covered by the tudung. And uh, of course, at the, the sleeve, uh, I do a bit of uh, highlight here mm -hmm. where. You know, we highlight some of the motifs mm -hmm. uh, and also uh, there's a slit here showing the inner part of the sleeve. This is another concept. Um, last time, yes, chiffon was the in thing but um, it was the plain one coloured chiffon whereby now uh, they come up with a new technology where you can mix two colours in one chiffon material. Uh, we, we do uh, more of this uh, wash effect mm -hmm. where we combine uh, the two colours. Mm -hmm. uh, here we, we put in uh, blue and also a little bit of green, mm -hmm. you know, to give uh, a, a more bright effect. The other Juba is actually the one that I'm wearing. So can you tell me more about this one? The juba that you're wearing is a is a, a, a two-piece maxi actually. Uh, you know where I use a crib dishin for the mm -hmm. piece inside, for mm -hmm. the dress inside, mm -hmm. and uh, also the dress inside has um, has sleeves. You know, it has a sleeve inside here because I'm using uh, chiffon. Uh, I, I just want to make sure that. Uh, it will not see through. Even I have slit here, it still look modern, still look good in a person who wears tudung. So uh, the combination of the colour, okay, memang I love turquoise and pink. So this is a really good colour for me. So can you tell me more about the, the colours? The combination actually give a striking effect. That it gives a striking fresh effect. Fresh That's look. Like, yeah. mm -hmm. That's why when a person, especially a, a fair, a fair, you know, oh. uh, complexion person, will look very good in this combination. Yeah. 
extremely proud of her Malay heritage, she also creates her Kurung collection, which is very simple yet still carries her signature of her mixture of colours. I love how you put this this part here because it's like, you know, the focus is more on the uh, the combination of the colours and all that. I make it uh, a little bit short than the normal baju kurung. Uh, baju kurung kedah, something like baju kurung kedah. Almost yeah? like, mm. almost like that. Mm -hmm. The reason why, because I wanted it to be matched with a flare, some skirt. Mm. It's not actually. It's the actually. It's a maxi inside. A bit fitted at the top, mm -hmm. and it goes flare at the bottom. Yeah. So tell me more about the top. Uh, okay, for the top, yeah, because I I think this um, the long slit is quite flattering. Mm -hmm. Since we have another piece, you know, the inside. maxi inside, mm -hmm. so uh, it somehow works quite well here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, what I do is to the to the neckline. Uh, I highlight it with bits, you know, mm -hmm. just, uh, and a little bit here, around, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, and a little bit, uh, bits sprinkle everywhere. Uh, everywhere, the, mm -hmm. yeah, the plain part. Tell me, tell me about this part. Okay, this motif actually, the motif is derived from um, butterfly. You know? So, can you tell me about the inside? Is is together, yeah? Yeah, the the inside, you know, yeah. because I have a cut here. Mm -hmm. uh, the reason why is because I want to have a, a flat flare effect, effect. Yeah, mm -hmm. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. So I, I need this cut here. Mm -hmm. But since it's uh, below the length of this uh, top, mm -hmm. so it looks nice. Mm -hmm. For the material, mm -hmm. in this case, I used both chiffon fabric. And you can see uh, I, I used the darker tone for the maxi inside. Slightly lighter tone that is the purple. Uh, the outside. Jarumas is very popular of mixing uh, colours together and uh, somehow it works. So can you tell me how you come up with this? Actually, it's all through experience. We have to sort of uh, play around the colours and you see what strikes well, what looks down hmm. and you improve on that, you know? Improvising yeah. that. So it's the try and error as well. The trial and error is definitely. For a contemporary modern collection, there are mainly maxi dresses, tunic blouses and pants. By honing her skill on her choices of colours and the placement of the bucket motifs, even the simplest cut of a maxi dress looks splendid. Okay, this one is the modern collection, so can you tell me more about this one, this particular one? Uh, this is one of my uh, latest collection. Yeah? Mm. Uh, this is also in batik, mm -hmm. it's uh, done in Painted batik, hand painted batik, wow. and the fabric that I use is the uh, chiffon. The effect that I'm trying to project here is the layering effect. Mm -hmm. you know? When I did this uh, style, it was actually uh, derived from the from flower. Wow. You know? That's why you have this uh, yeah. layering effect. The motif is uh, is already uh, you know I decide mm. to the motif on only certain parts. For example at the end of the sleeve and mm -hmm. also at the bottom part of the dress. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, what inspire you on this besides uh, flower? Uh, in terms of colours, of course, um, I was trying to project something more, you know, because modern, so we wanted to something more uh, outstanding, more striking, you know, that's why we decided to have a, a bright uh, purple combination, and, uh, combination with of pink uh, and, pink and yellowish mm. green. I think we can even wear this for um, a Hollywood um, uh, red carpet kind of event kind of thing yeah? because it's it's very glamorous. You are somebody who's bertudung so how do you cover the top part? For a person who wears tudung, it has to be covered. The upper part has to be covered yeah. and mm -hmm. this of part, course yeah. uh, normally we would wear bodysuit inside mm. where this part, the neck part will be covered and mm. now also the sleeve. Over here we have uh, a slit to mm. wear a proper uh, long sleeve, a tight long sleeve inside but you know when you combine with this uh, maxi. Even the top part, the tudung, maybe you can wear it this way. So you can cover the front bit, right? Yeah, you can even wear the tudung inside where you that will allow the drape to be shown. You yeah, know? oh, yeah. yeah, 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 exactly. So what we normally do is we can uh, have the pocket inside. Oh, that's very nice.
Combined with her natural ability, talent and deep interest in Islamic high fashion and contemporary Malaysian attire, Noraini and the Jarumas Concepts label are patronized by all levels of fashion-conscious customers looking for quality and alluring fashion at good value for money. Assalamualaikum, Kak Ni. Waalaikumsalam. Hai, Putri Sabia. Lama tak nampak you, ya? Kak Lama. Ni, apa khabar? Baik, Alhamdulillah. Sabia, apa khabar? Baik. Baik, ya. Kak Ni kena tolong saya. Uh -huh. uh, malam ni ada fashion show. Oh. Jadi nak apa pakai baju yang bentuk Islam ni. Saya mengenali Puan Noraini ni dah lama, dah bertahun. Jadi, uh, bagi saya memang selalu buat tampahan dekat sini, jarum mas. Di jarum mas ni memang dia lebih pada jubah dan islamik dan banyak macam fashion yang ada dekat sini lah. Pendapat saya tentang rekaan Puan Wai ni memang dia satu yang kreatif, banyak idea dan dia berani kombinasikan dari segi colour, dari segi fashion-fashion yang dipandai sesuaikan untuk fashion masa kini. Saya berharap sangat supaya jarum mas ni akan pergi lebih maju dan sampai ke peringkat antarabangsa. Silakan Atin. Alright, with me now is our special person for today, uh, Datin Shikin. She needs help uh, to get an outfit, a Muslimah outfit for an event. Uh, what kind of event, Datin? Dinner, dinner for two weeks from now. Two weeks from now, yeah. no problem. So I'm looking for jubah, mm. Muslim jubah, mm, very glamorous, glamorous yeah? to more elegance lah oh, for that more night. For that mm. night, are you going with Datuk? Yes, of oh, course. Wonderful. Mm. Yes. Okay, right after this, I will introduce you.